Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and welcome to my continued coverage of the HTC Desire HD mobile phone. Now in this video I'm going to be showing you the camera features as well as a look at the HD video capture. So let's take a look around the back of the phone first of all. This is where the camera resides. This is an 8 megapixel colour camera, autofocus, dual LED flash. This little bit alongside is a speaker which is great for when you're reviewing the HD video capture and this lens and camera will actually capture 720p HD video there's also built-in effects such as depth of, depth of field, vignetting etc and geotagging as well and I'll be taking a look at the uh, effects during this video so let's pop back round to the front tap on that home button now there's no dedicated camera button on here so you do have to tap the camera icon and this takes you straight into the camera application. Now, let me just pop this round into landscape format and give you a very quick look at these uh, icons along the side. Now, you can tap the uh, camera button up the top here, and that switches it round from camera to video mode, and then back again. This little number that appears, so if I go into video mode, it shows me that I can record for 4 hours 36 minutes. If I go into camera mode, it shows me I can fit 4,199 photos on the memory that I've got installed and that's the one and a half gigabytes of internal memory plus the eight gigabyte SD card. The next icon down is the flash so at the moment it's set to auto I can set it to permanently on or I can change the flash to off and then this one here actually takes me into those uh, sort of special effects modes now I've got no effect at the moment but I can choose between let me just tap that again, wasn't quick enough, I can choose between distortion I've got vignette, I've got depth of field vintage, vintage warm, vintage cold grayscale, sepia, oh wow negative as well solarize, posterize and aqua so some really nice effects built into the camera I like that a lot now the last icon down the bottom here is going to take me direct into the gallery and these are photos that were already taken on the Desire HD so they're going to look very good indeed but reviewing back photos on the Desire HD is a pleasure you can pinch to zoom, pan around the photos and on this 4.3 inch screen it is a very very nice experience so let's go back to the camera and this is why I've got the box underneath this is a magic trackpad box so I can actually zoom in and out using this icon on the side here I can slide this up and down to zoom in and out as you can see now I've set the flash to automatic I'm probably not going to need that can I tap on an area to zoom in? yes I can so you tap on which area you want to zoom in so I'm going to zoom in on these words here and then I'm going to tap the shutter button and that takes the photo, no sound because I've got it set to silent mode at the moment let's go into my gallery and that will show you the photo that I've just taken and I can zoom in it's a little bit blurred but then I am quite near to the uh, subject so let's take another one, let's go back to that camera and back again, so I'm back into camera mode let's come a bit further away this time let's tap there to actually zoom in and then we take the photo so we go back to the gallery and let's have a look at this one that's much better, look at that, very crisp extremely nice um, quality to that that's really quite good very very pleased with how that performs now I am also going to show you some HD uh, video footage taken with this so let me record that footage now and then I'll edit that into this uh, video showing you the uh, camera capabilities of the Desire HD. So this is some HD video footage recorded with the HTC Desire HD and as you can see it captures very nice video quality and it was too rainy to go out today so you've got some different video footage from me as you can see this is my desk setup you saw this in a previous desk tour video you can see my camera set up there as well this is where I was doing the previous bit of footage that you saw where I was taking some photos of that Apple 
magic trackpad down there so this is how I set up for my videos now and the actual video capture on this looking back on the preview screen as I'm recording looks very good indeed so I hope you enjoyed that HD video capture that I just played back to you that was recorded with the HTC Desire HD just want to show you a couple of other features whilst I'm in video mode if I push the menu button here I can actually make image adjustments so I can change the exposure, contrast and saturation of the video. Also the white balance, I can switch from auto to different settings underneath here. And I've also got video quality options, so I can choose between 1280x720, which is what I just recorded that bit of footage that I played back. And we've also got widescreen, oh, let's just go into that again. We've also got uh, widescreen 800x480 and some other settings underneath. I've got review duration 2 seconds, record with audio ticked, shutter sound on or reset to defaults. If I get rid of that menu and switch round into camera mode again, push that menu button again, now the options do slightly change this time. We've got self portrait, self timer, image adjustments, if I click on that we've got the same options for exposure, contrast and saturation. And we've also got white balance resolution which we can choose between 8531 megapixels and also a small 640 by 384 resolution. ISO settings, we've got some options there. Uh, review duration 2 seconds, widescreen option, geotagging option, autofocus face detection, shutter sound on and off and we can even overlay a grid onto the photos. And again we can reset to default. So you've got some nice options in both video and photo mode on the HTC Desire HD. Very, very pleased with how this is performing. I love the gallery uh, function as well. This is the um, HD video footage that you just saw. I'm just so, so pleased with how this uh, mobile phone is performing. So thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed an insight into the Desire HD's photo and video capabilities. Please do keep an eye on the Geek and Noise channel over the next few days. The next video is going to be looking at the htcsense.com website and some of the functionality that you can interact between the website and the mobile phone itself. This video review is sponsored by EasyDraw, making drawing fun on Mac OS X.